Hello all, welcome back. So in the upcoming three videos, we are going to see different methods of how you can extract and decrypt an IPA using various methods. Okay, so I'm going to show you three different methods of how you can extract and decrypt IPAs. Now, before starting off the first method, let's first understand why extracting and decrypting an IPA is important. So, there's a high chance of in most of the cases you won't be getting the IPA from the developer right you would be installing the IPA from the app store directly onto your iOS device now in order to check out for source code related vulnerabilities or for info.plist related vulnerabilities you require the source code of the IPA right you require the source code of the IPA now it's not possible that you message the developer that is present on the app store that please give me the source code of the application it is practically not possible so how are you going to check for all those vulnerabilities wherein source code is required hence extraction and decryption of ipa is very very important now ipas are always encrypted okay so if you simply extract the ipa from the ios device that's not going to work because they are uh, they are encrypted with a strong encryption technique you have to decrypt that particular ipa in order to view the actual source code files okay so let's start with the first method of how you can decrypt the ipa and extract the ipa from your ios device the first method is using Frida iOS dump. This is the most famous method. If you Google it out that how I can extract and decrypt an IP, the first link you will always see is of Frida iOS dump. Okay, so this is what I'm going to cover in this particular lecture. So before installing or before running Frida iOS dump, a tweak called as Frida should always be installed inside your iOS device okay you can simply install this you can go on to Celio and you can install Frida you can search for Frida and you can just install it if you need help of how you can install Frida onto your iOS device I have a video of that as well inside the dynamic analysis section you can just scroll over and just check it out okay but for this video we are not covering because it's going to get repeated and the length of this video will also be extended okay so please make sure that Frida is installed secondly after Frida has been installed onto your laptops you have to git clone this particular repository okay this particular repository is from the user alone monkey he is the creator of this particular tool called as Frida iOS dump once you git clone it you have to install certain requirements you can install those requirements using pip install dash r requirements.txt the most important thing which you have to do over here is you have to run an SSH forwarding over USB. Okay, what does this this particular command means or this particular thing means? It means that you have to run SSH forwarding over USB, which basically means that you have to allow the device to be connected using SSH using the USB. Okay using the USB and you have to give a particular port number wherein this SSH forwarding will be allowed. Now why SSH forwarding is allowed because you are extracting and decrypting that particular IPA. So this particular tool Frida iOS dump is going to connect to your iOS device via SSH. It's going to connect via SSH over USB. Okay. And that's the reason you have to run this particular command. The command to run this is very simple i proxy 4 times 2 22 you can instead of 4 times 2 you can give any particular port you want this is the default one and it is very simple to remember as well so by default people use this but you can use any one of them and then finally you just have to run the command dot slash dumb dot pi the application name or the bundle identifier we have already discussed what application name or application name is and what bundle identifier are okay so you can easily do this and now it's the demo time let's understand practically how you are going to do this so first command as i said is to install frida i 
already have Frida installed inside my iOS device. I'm, so I'm skipping that step. If you want to know how, again, you can just go on to the dynamic analysis section. There would be a title called as install Frida on your iOS device. You can just run that. So I'm just going to go inside this particular repository. And as you can see, this is the repository created by the user alone monkey. You can simply copy this, go on to your terminal and just git clone it. So git clone. And I'm just going to paste that particular repository. Uh, for me, it has been already been installed before. I'm just going to go inside that particular repository and I'm going to install all the requirements file. How are you going to install? Simply write pip3 install dash r requirements.txt hit enter and all the requirements will be installed. Okay, now I'm going to clear the screen up and yes, let's go to the next command. The next command is using iProxy. So you have to write iProxy 222222 and this is going to wait for connection and keep this command running inside another tab. I'm going to switch over the tab and now I'm just going to run a command called as frida-ps-ua. Do not worry about this command at all. Okay, if you are going to look at the dynamic analysis section, what they have explained this very well. Please do not worry about this command. To brief it out or to summarize it out, this particular command is just going to give you which applications are running inside that iOS device and what is the bundle identifier of it. Okay, so over here, I am able to see the application name the bundle identifier and the process ID for which they are running. Okay, so this is just a summary of what frida-ps-ua does. And we are going to take a particular command, uh, a particular application. So let's say I want to extract the application terminal. Okay, so I, I, I want to extract the application terminal. So I'm just going to take the bundle identifier of that particular application. and just going to write the command Python 3 frida ios.py or sorry it's dump.py you can also just run the command using dot slash or else you can do like this as well so python 3 dump.py and terminal and i'm going to hit enter and once i hit enter it's going to tell me that start the target app terminal so what i have to do is i have to start that particular target application so i'm going to start terminal and as you can see it has generated terminal dot IPA. So you can see the terminal.ipa file has been generated for us and it has been extracted and decrypted. Okay, so I'm just going to move this terminal file backwards and now you can see over here the terminal file has been extracted and decrypted for us. So this was one of the methods how you can decrypt and extract that particular IPA file from your device. If this method does not work for you, do not worry. There are two more methods, two more alternative solutions to this particular problem. So continue the next video and you will be learning about the second method. Thank you.